I was awoken the other morning with um, the Spirit of God just revealing something to me. And it was having to do with the fact that the wage of sin is death. So when you think about a wage, you know, we get a wage, you know, if we work, we get, we work and then we get paid our wages. So all the sin we've done, the wages for it is death. And as he was speaking to me about this, he was answering actually a long-standing question I've always had. When I would read um, about the death of Christ on the cross, when Jesus Christ, you know, died on that cross, there's a time during his death where he cried out, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? And I always wondered, like, why did he say that and why did that happen? And the Lord just started revealing to me that if he didn't feel the feeling of being separated from God the Father, he would not have that heart that he has for lost, for the lost, for sinners, for um, people that are saved. Because if you have ever watched any testimonies of near-death experiences and people experiencing what hell is like, they will tell you they want nobody to ever have to experience that. And Jesus Christ got that feeling of being just completely separated from God. And that's what hell is. There is no, the presence of God is not there at all. And he has redemption available for every human. If you're watching this and you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior yet, I want to tell you, this is a divine appointment. God wanted you to hear that you, your sin the wages for it is death. If you choose to pay that wage, you are going to pay for your own sins by spiritual death. And he does not want that for you. That's why he suffered on that cross. He endured hell for three days. And then he, Jesus Christ rose again. He defeated death, hell, and the grave. And he did that on your behalf. All you have to do is accept him accept this gift of salvation that he bought with his own death for you because the the word of God says that he who knew no sin meaning Jesus Christ who never sinned in his life he who knew no sin became sin so that we could become the righteousness of God in him in Christ Jesus so literally he took our place the place the things we deserved the punishment we deserved he took all that on his body on that cross and he paid the price for you so if you're watching this and you don't know him yet he wants you to he is longing to know you he is waiting for you it says that he knocks on the door of our heart and he is waiting for you to open it so i just pray right now that you would open the door of your heart to jesus you will never regret it this is one decision that if you talk to anybody who has accepted Jesus, they have never regretted this decision. It is the best decision I have ever made in my life. And there's nothing like knowing that the love of God, there's nothing on earth that can even come close to matching what it feels like to know that the God of the universe, your creator, loves you and that you're reconciled to him and it's not because of what you've done it was a gift it says that we believe by our confession of our mouth we believe in Jesus and what he did for us and that makes us reconciled to God so we don't have to earn it we don't have to deserve it we literally just have to say we're sorry for our sins we're sorry for the bad things we've done we're sorry for breaking God's heart by things that we've done that we know are not right. We've all done them. We were born into this. He wants an apology and and to say and humbly accept the gift that he's given his son dying on that cross for your sins. And he resurrected three days later, conquering and defeating death for you, for me. So just know that Jesus Christ is after you. If you don't know him yet, he's after you. 
he experienced that separation so that his heart longs that you would never have to to feel that so i'm just going to pray for you right now in the name of jesus i just pray right now holy spirit that you would encounter this person watching this video lord that you would make yourself known to them that you would make the truth remove the veils from their eyes anything hindering any doubt and unbelief i pray it would be removed so that they can experience you jesus experience your love your your amazing grace and that they can be born again and have a new life and join the family of god and lord i just pray right now that they would know you and know that you are the truth and that you will set them free in jesus name please let me know in the comments if you prayed this prayer